If you want to set the white balance, what you're going to do is press this info button and you'll see the second button down below the menu button, there's a WB. If you press that, it'll give you an indication of what the white balance is. And it'll show you these two dials on the right. If you rotate the rear dial, it'll change the white balance from one of the preset modes or back to auto. And if you rotate the front, you can actually bump your white balance in a cooler or warmer direction by rotating the front dial. <clears throat> so if you change to one of the modes called K, you can actually adjust the color temperature, the actual color temperature that the camera is using, which is really nice if you know exactly what color temperature you want. You also have the option to have presets, so if you shoot certain scenes over and over, you can set presets so that your white balance is ready to go and you don't have to reset it. So if you open Live View and hold the white balance button, it lets you rotate through the different white balances. This is nice if you're not pointing at this red surface like I am. Let's say you're pointing outside. You can rotate your white balance and actually get view it instantly on the screen to see whether or not it's the right white balance. The other way you can set your white balance is if you're in Live View, press the white balance button and just hold it. And then it'll let you measure the white balance, and you're going to want to use a neutral surface. Obviously, red is not a good option. But if, I, if I do click OK and measure it, it's not going to work. So uh, pick a neutral color, press and hold the white balance button. It'll give you the option to measure. And then you want to find something in your scene that's a neutral color, put it in that yellow box, and then click OK, and it'll measure the white balance based on your scene.